Yo, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to the Philly Sots to the video cast, and today we'll be recapping the third game of the World Series as the Houston Astros defeated the Washington Nationals by a final score of 4-1. to one. The Astros win their first game in this World Series as they snap the Nationals' eight-game winning streak. So you got to be feeling good if you're the Houston Astros here. Uh, you lose two in Houston, and you go to D.C. and win the first game. Uh, now, tonight's a must-win for this Houston team. They're going against Patrick Corbin tonight. If they win, then this series is tied and anything could happen. And, and, and this is a series again, guys. The, they're back in it. They won a game. They're up. They're, I mean, it would have been disastrous if they would have lost last night. They would have been on 3-0. It would have been almost impossible for them to come back. But you win today. You win last night. You get it to 2-1. And if you win tonight, then it's anybody's game. Now it's 2-2. Uh, but if you lose tonight, you kind of, I mean, obviously it wouldn't be as bad as, you know, losing last night and, you know, winning tonight. But, I mean, because at least if you lost last night and you're down, you have to win four in a row. You know, at least you only have to win three in a row. But it's still a challenge to win three in a, three, three in a row against this Washington Nationals team. But I, I tell you what, if, I definitely think they they got it in them. They, they got it in them. They could definitely win tonight against Patrick Corbin. Uh, they got to go against the slider. It's going to be devastating. You know, we're going to see, you know, Patrick Corbin slider against this Houston team. So uh, Patrick Corbin definitely has uh, that filthy slider, and uh, it's it's really effective. Um, you know, um, he uh, uses it to uh, – he's a strikeout pitcher. You know, he ranks up the strikeouts, you know, like everybody, uh, you know, on this team, like Max Scherzer and uh, Steven Strasburg and Max Scherzer. Uh, I mean, these guys, you know, they, they, they really rank up the strikeouts. So that's what we're probably going to see out of Patrick Corbin tonight. Uh, but uh, who knows? You know, Anibal Sanchez did struggle – Went like five and a third, you know, gave it four on runs. I believe 10 hits was the exact line. It was not good for him. Uh, but Zach Granke, he was great. And I was a little bit concerned going into this one for Houston because uh, he was he's not been good. He wasn't good against New York. He was not good against Tampa. And uh, he really, really did well last night. Uh, he really, really did well last night. Much, much better. Only holding the Nationals to one run in their home ballpark, which that's pretty impressive. So, um, yeah, I mean, the uh, Nationals are a pretty good team at home. I mean, they're, they're 50 and 31 at home, uh, while the Astros are 47 and 30, 34 on the on the road. So uh, the Astros are a much better team at home. So let's take a look at the scoring summary. Top of the second inning, Reddick single to left. Uh, Correa, Correa scored, and it's now one nothing Houston. So it was almost like a blue little single. Top of the third inning, Brantley reached on an infield single. Back right to the pitcher, and Altuve scores. It's now 2 nothing Houston. Bottom of the fourth inning, Victor Robles tri triples to left. Zimmerman scores, and it's now 2-1. And so the Nats are on the board. Top of the fifth inning, after uh, Jose uh, uh, Altuve doubles. Brantley on a 3-1 count. Singles to right. Altuve scores. It's now 3-1. Top of the sixth inning, Carrillos homers to left. For injured 85 feet, and that's your ball game. 4-1, your final score. As uh, the Astros get their first win in this World Series, taking a look at the obviously we always do the visitor side first. George Springer two for four, one walk, and Jose Altuve two for five, two runs scored. Uh, Michael Brantley two for four, two RBIs, one walk. Um, Bregman zero for five, one strikeout. He's been struggling. They need his bat to wake up. Yuli Gurriel one for five, one strikeout. Carlos Correa one for four, run run scored, one strikeout. Josh Reddick, one for four, one one RBI. Uh, Carrillos, two for four, one run scored, one RBI, one strikeout. Zach Granke, 0 for one, one strikeout. T uh, Tucker got a walk. He came off the bench and walked. And uh, Alvarez, 0 for one. Obviously, the DH is going to have an effect on this Houston team uh, because there's no DH and no Alvarez. Zach Granke did not get the win in this one, but he pitched he pretty, he pretty pitched a dis decent game. He did not go deep. He went four and two-thirds, seven hits. One run, three walks, six strikeouts. The hits were a bit of an issue, but, hey, I mean, he pitched pretty well. He pitched pretty well, uh, better than his his previous starts. James, uh, a third of an inning, one, one strikeout. He was the one who got the win in this one. He's now 1-0. Peacock, a third, a third of an inning, uh, two walks, one strikeout. Harris, one and two-thirds, two strikeouts. Smith, one inning, one hit, and two Ks. Osuna, one inning, one hit, and one strikeout. So that's your Houston side. James is the one who gets the win. He's now 1-0. Looking over at the Nationals, Trey Turner, 1-5, one, one strikeout. Adam Eaton, 2-4, one, one walk. Anthony Rendon, 1-5. Juan Soto, 0-4, one walk, th uh, three strikeouts. As Dribble Cabrera, 2-4, for four, one strikeout. Ryan Zimmerman, 1-3, one, one, uh, one run scored, one walk, two strikeouts. Kurt Suzuki, 0-2, two, two 
two strikeouts. Hora Para 0 for 1, one strikeout. And uh, Howie Kendrick, 1 for 1. Uh, Victor Robles, 1 for 3, 1 RBI, 1 walk, 1 strikeout. Eddie Ball Sanchez, 0 for 2, 2 strikeouts. Matt Adams came off the bench and drew a walk. And uh, Nyan Gomes, uh, 0 for 1. So you can look at the pitching summary for the Nationals. Eddie Ball Sanchez went 5 and a third, 10 hits, 4 in runs, 1 walk, 4 strikeouts, and a home run allowed. He did not pitch, he did not pitch well. He gave up 10 hits. He was not good, uh, not as good as uh, Sturzer and uh, Strasburg, to say the least. He was not good, and we all know he doesn't have that kind of stuff. So uh, he just wasn't he just wasn't effective, you know, like he was against the Dodgers, like he was against the Cardinals. So um, it just wasn't his it wasn't his night. Rodney two thirds of an inning, um, two walks, and Ross Joe Ross two innings one hit, and uh, Wander Suero one inning uh, and one strikeout. So that's your ball game. Four to one, your final score. Houston's right back in it, guys. Uh, this is a must. That was a must win for Houston. You could not go down 3-0. That would be an absolute disaster. So you dig yourselves out of it, and now you find yourself uh, only in a 2-1 hole and not in a 3-0 hole. Imagine a 3-0 hole. That would have been absolutely terrible. And I'm not too sure who the game five starter is going to be. Uh, I heard Joe Ross's name going around there, but he just pitched two innings of relief last night, and you saw the Nationals with Dave Martinez only have uh, Corbin because Corbin, you know, pitched an inning relief in game one. So that's what I think that's why they moved him back to start. Or maybe they just wanted to offset the – because their pitching rotation is great, but their three horses are at the, at the top. So maybe they wanted to offset and have some have some power towards the end of the rotation instead of having it heavy, heavy weighted in the beginning. I don't know. That, that's just my opinion. Uh, but uh, I don't know that. But Joe Ross, uh, I heard his name float around for the Game 5 starter. I'm not 100% sure, but I do. we do know it's a fact that Patrick Corden will go tonight for the Nats, and they will go against uh, Rui, um, your Guidi. Uh, he's 2-1 and one with a 3.95 ERA, and, Cor- and Corbin is 14-7 in the regular season, 3.25 ERA. So, I'm a little concerned if you're an if you're an Astros fan. I mean, this I mean, this is not a, a Justin Verlander. This is not a Garrett Cole, obviously. So I mean, you got to really, really rely on. I mean, these guys, these 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 not top of the line guys to uh, really help win you ball games because these guys. I mean, they're not they're not your best pitchers. So now we're kind of at the stage where not all the aces are pitching anymore. Now it's kind of like the the four or five guys. Um, you know, it's not guys that uh, you know are your aces. Uh, you know, so you know, we really have to. Uh, I mean, if you're the Astros, uh, you really have to, uh, you know, score a lot of runs uh, for these for these type of fish. I'm not, I'm not taking a knock at this guy, but um, you know, this is not your ace on your mouth. This is this is uh, you know, guy who's you know your four or five guy. So um, you know, it's definitely going to be interesting. The strategy is definitely going to change. Um, as I said, I think this series will end in six or seven games. Uh, I think that's when it's going to end. Um, I don't. Uh, I do not see the. Um, Astros, if they do lose, I do not see them losing in D.C. I said I see whoever is going to win this whole series is going to be in Houston. Uh, so, yeah, I see it in six or seven games. Um, you know, then I'm still going to stick with the Nats. But if the car, if the Astros win tonight, I might be switching over again. I don't know. Uh, because this is definitely uh, definitely interesting, the way this is playing out now. So now you got the Astros winning one. I understand it's only one game, but uh, we'll see what happens tonight. If the Astros win tonight, then they're definitely in business. Uh, but uh, they got to go face, you know, uh, Scherzer and Strasburg again. But, hey, they already saw them. This, you know, that's going to change the mindset now. Uh, but uh, they did not play well at home. They did not play well at home, and they need to do better at that. They have not – they did not play well at home. So uh, – but you've seen the Astros do this multiple times. You see all – I think as the series goes on, they get better. You saw it in the Yankees series. You did not see it in the Tampa Bay Rays series. They actually got worse because they were up 2-0, and then they lost the next two. And then they did win the third, last one. But you saw it in 2017. And that World Series is kind of a back-and-forth World Series. But the Astros came out on top. You saw it. You know, they were they were down 1-0 in, in the uh, in 2017 World Series. And they almost lost game two. If you remember that, remember when Jock Peterson hit that home run? Uh, the, the the Dodgers almost won that game. The Astros are almost down 2-0. So, I mean, the Astros have done this multiple times. You know, they have they have, how they have come back. So uh, it definitely wouldn't surprise me to see it here. But I still got my money on the Nationals here. Uh, I think their pitching is – I think their pitching is just unbelievable. Uh, but you didn't really see that last night out of Anibal Sanchez. But he's not Max Scherzer. He's not Steven Strasburg. He's not Patrick Corbin. We'll see what happens with Patrick Corbin tonight. I think that's going to be a really, really – that's going to be a game changer tonight, no matter – depending on what he does. I don't know what's going to happen tonight. It's, it's going to be interesting. 8.07 the first pitch. 
um, I don't know, man. It's 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 tight. I mean, it's really really tight. I mean, I I, you know, this. I mean, this the the, the Nationals have the edge. They're at home and they have their ace on the. They have. I mean, it's not their ace, but they have a I mean, one heck of a pitcher on the mound tonight, Patrick Corbin. I mean, any if this is a Phillies team that had Patrick Corbin, that, then Patrick Corbin would be their ace. But you got the Nationals. You got two pitchers that are better than than uh, Patrick Corbin, which is, just shows how good the rotation is. Here's the number three guy. And he's Patrick Corbin. I mean, unbelievable. If this guy was on the Phillies, he'd be the number one guy. So he is kind of an ace, but he's not really their ace because they have two better pitches than him. So it's just it's unbelievable. For the Astros, they do not have a great option going tonight. So um, no, I do not know much about this guy. I don't know. I don't think I've ever heard the name. Uh, I, I hope I'm not uh, – you know, don't uh, – <laughs> I've never really uh, seen much of this kid. Uh, you know, Jose uh, – Ready? I don't even know how to say his name. So, uh, you know, he's two two. Uh, he has a two oh eight ERA in four and a third innings pitched, eight strikeouts, and a one point eight five WHIP in two games. Uh, in the regular season, as I said, he was three and three two and one of the three point nine five ERA. So they're really going to rely heavily on this guy to try to win them a game. Uh, they they really really are, and uh, they they really really have to uh, win tonight in order to to. Uh, you know, because you cannot be down 3-1. I mean, obviously the Cubs came back, but that doesn't always happen. The Cubs came back in 2016, but that doesn't always happen every time, you know. So the Astros have to make sure that uh, they win tonight. They have to get to Patrick Corbin. Then they're probably going to face a guy like a Ra- Joe Ross or someone like that. And uh, could they win three in a row? If they win tonight, I definitely think they're going to win tomorrow. Um, that's why I said I think it's going to end in six or seven games. So. Uh, depending on who who wins the series. Uh, if it's the Astros, I say seven. If it's going to be the Nationals who comes out on top in this, I think it's going to be in six. Either way, I think it's going to be a long series. Uh, so, yeah, we're already in game four. Uh, or, um, excuse me, we're going to game four tonight. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's crazy. We're already four games into this almost. So I've already played the first three games. Uh, so Houston comes out on top four to one. So, uh yeah, James gets the win. He's one and one and zero. Oh. Sanchez gets the loss. He's zero oh and one. And Roberto Osuna got the save. So definitely going to be interesting to see what happens tonight. My prediction: I think that Corbin's going to have a lot of strikeouts. I think he's going to be able to hold down the the fort against these these Houston team. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's unexpected. It's, it's crazy. I mean, I think the Nationals' offense will. I think it's going to be either a high scoring game on the Nationals' side because. I'm not saying I don't really have faith in this Jose, this Jose guy. I really don't. Um, but uh, for um, the the Houston, I mean, this is going to be a tough, tough game. I mean, you're going to have to score a lot of runs off of because you know you're not going to get much uh, pitching pitching help. So you really got to score some runs off of Patrick Corbin. So it's going to be a challenge. This is this is no joke. Like this is going to be tough. So and they have to try to keep themselves out of this three one hole. Um, but uh, regardless, I do not see them uh, winning. Winning whoever wins this will win in Houston. Um, and I'm, I'm going to keep saying it. And if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. I'll take blame for it. But I am positive that it will end in Houston. So in a couple of days, when we do find out who wins the series, I will be coming on here saying, told you so. It's going to be in Houston. It was going to be in Houston. Guess what? They won in Houston. So it doesn't matter who the team is. So, uh, yeah, I said at the beginning of the series, I see Astros in seven, I believe. Um, but, uh, hey, I mean, my hope, my, my prediction is still alive. Uh, we'll see what happens tonight. I did not watch – much of the game last night, I watched the highlights. I did not watch the game. I was busy. I was out doing stuff. So uh, I was busy last night, so I didn't have time to sit down and watch it, but I watched the highlights. So, um, yeah, so the Phillies are not in it. You know, I'm just, I am just, I am enjoying, you know, baseball, but, you know, kind of, I really miss my Phillies. So, yeah, so it's kind of been hard for me to, uh, you know, adapt to no Phillies. It's almost been a month, which is hard to believe. Um, other news, Joe Girardi will be wearing number 25 with the Phillies. And his press conference will be on 1 p.m. Monday. I'm sure you could probably stream it on your My Teams app. So make sure you all tune in for that. The Philly fans uh, who are watching this video, that's for you. Um, so 8 of 7, the first pitch tonight. Washington leads the series 2 1. Um, yeah, so um, gotta, we got to, uh, I mean, we'll, we'll see what happens tonight. But the Astros, they got to. Uh, they got to um, score some runs off of Patrick Corbin. I mean, it could be a high strikeout night. If, if, the, if Patrick Corbin's going to go six or seven innings, with, you know, I mean, you know, seven to 10 strikeouts. I mean, it's not going to be looking good for the uh, Astros, that's for sure. Because you know they're not going to get much pitching support, as I said. So you got Ruridi, Ruguidi, uh He's 2-1 with a 3.95 ERA going, ERA going against Patrick Corbin, 14-7 uh, and seven with a 3.25 ERA. So that's your ball game. 8-07, the first pitch. World Series game four. Washington leads the series 2-1. to one. 
So what happens if Houston wins tonight? I think I got. I think I'm gonna switch back over uh, because I think Houston's kind of, maybe I may they're figuring out Washington. I'm not too sure, but I need to see what's gonna happen tonight. Tonight will be an eye opening, uh, eye opening for me because can the Astros uh, hit against this? Hit against you know they haven't really proved themselves to hit against. I mean they hit against Anibal Sanchez. They couldn't do much against Max Scherzer. Well, they they did. I mean you would go real with that you know that two two RBI uh, double in the first inning and a couple others. But it wasn't as as you know popping as I thought it would be. They didn't do anything against Steven Strasburg. So if they do do something about if they can't do anything against Patrick Corbin, I'm gonna still I'm gonna put my money on the Nationals even more. If they do well against Patrick Corbin, then I you know what I'd say I think they're starting to wake up. I think they're gonna start. I think they're starting to play better. And I'm gonna switch back over to them. But as of right now, I still see Washington winning the series in uh, six or seven games. Uh, I got the, and I still. I mean, if I said the beginning of the series, I see. Houston winning this game seven, but we'll see what happens. I don't know. I honestly, no one, I mean, it's so hard to predict this. I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, who, who would have guessed that the Nationals were even going to be here in May? In May 23rd, they were like, or something crazy like that. They're like, what were they, like 12 games, 11 games, just under 500. It's absolutely nuts. And who knew that they'd be in the World Series? Crazy, crazy, crazy. I guarantee you there's going to be a team 10, 11 games under 500 at that same time, and they're probably going to be thinking the same thing. So it's going to be interesting to see who comes out on top tonight. Uh, you know, so it is seven, the first pitch. Make sure you all tune in for that. So we're going to see in, uh, maybe a lot of strikeouts on the uh, Nationals pitching tonight. Uh, so maybe they're going to rank out the strikeouts. If, as I said, if Houston can prove me wrong, if they could hit against Patrick Corbin, and uh, if I could see – they're pitching, you know, step it up a little bit like it did last night, and it could fall into this night, then I'm definitely going to be switching back over to Houston. But, uh, hey, it's anybody's game here. It's anybody's game. This is a series again, and uh, the Nat, the Astros do not want to fall to 3-2, and two, uh, to a 3-1, and one, excuse me. Uh, they want to be tied up at 2. And, heck, if you lose this next game, if you if you lose the uh, game tomorrow night, um, or so, I don't think – I don't think – I think you're going to be heading back to Houston – I think we're going to be heading back to Houston, maybe the Washington leading at three to two. I think that's what we're probably going to be doing. And maybe the Astros win two in a row and win it. I don't know. Or maybe the Nationals, maybe the Nationals lose the first game and then win, win in game seven. Or it's the other way around, vice versa. I have no idea. Obviously, if the Astros lost game one down three two, they'd lose the whole thing. But if they could win two in a row, then uh, that'd be pretty special for them. But if maybe they win these next two and they get up 3-2, and then they win in game six. It's it's no way of knowing. I mean, it's really – that's why tonight is going to be a deciding factor. Can the Astros hit against these na- these Nationals pitching? Don't try to sweet-talk me with the Anibal Sanchez stuff. So I got to see it uh, if, if the Nationals are really going to have a – or the uh, Astros are going to be able to hit against this, this Nationals pitching. So like they did last night a little bit. And it was only like four runs. So thank you all so much for watching this video. Please smash the like on this video. Please subscribe if you have not yet. Please turn on the notification bell. Please – Share the video around. Tell everyone that does not know about my channel. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I am currently at 169 subscribers. I am 31 subscribers away from reaching the 200 mark. So I really appreciate you guys. Please please keep up the support. Please subscribe. Please, 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 if you have not yet. I would really, really appreciate it if you subscribe. So thank you all so much for watching this video. I'm Luke, and I'll talk to you all later, guys. Thank you.